everyone and welcome back. Sorry, something's crawling on my arm. Bug. Yep. <laughs> welcome back. My name is Bandora. And welcome back to Dear Mona Chapter 21 Truth and Lies. Surprise, surprise. I had jumped to conclusions. Not only had Sean had an, been on a date, not been on a date with another woman, but they were talking about me. Well, maybe not about me, but about the baby. This was one of those moments that I really wish I knew who the father was. Adding a room for the baby in your shop? Above the shop, yeah. I have a bigger room. If the baby isn't mine, I'll use the room for something else. Wow. I really appreciate you doing that, but you should know. You won't know who the father is until after the baby is born. I'm not going to do an early DNA test. I figured. I heard about those procedures. I wouldn't want to take the risk either. I'm glad you understand. Before I let you go, there's some there's one more thing I want to say. What is it? I miss you. I know I broke things off, but just know you're still on my mind. I'm so confused. I know what you mean. I think about you too. I wish everything wasn't so complicated. Me too. Well, I'll let you go. Talk soon, Pandora. Now what do I do? I thought Sean was done with me, but he still cares. Maybe I made a mistake making plans with Mark, but I do want to drag the truth out of him. And apart from that, how do I really feel about having two guys in my life? I'm so tired of this. I wish I could eventually end things with Mark or Sean, but it's hard which when they both keep reaching out. Stop it. And I can't shut off a possibility f father of my baby. Leave it alone. Sorry, my cat is chewing on cords. Ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. Stop it. Phew. It really gets quite... Feels great to be out of the town for a bit. Away from all the gossip. Just to breathe a different air. I told you. Are, are we going? Hold on, guys. I had to move cords away from my cat. Are we going? Give me a moment to unpack. I need to change out my outfit. Let's look at all the outfits. I can only afford the basic one. Thank God he already likes me. If he didn't, he'd run away screaming from these clothes. Come in. Don't tell me you decided to stay in the hotel. Of course not. What? I can wait. Well, do you have everything, anything else to wear? Let me see. He's, no, he's not. Maybe next time. Come on, let's enjoy our weekend. Thanks so much for taking me here, Mark. The view is incredible. My pleasure. But you seem upset. Is everything okay? Well, there's something I want to tell you. 
I read up on the DNA procedures and they sound too risky. I'm going to wait. Which means we won't know the print uh, until the baby is born. Alright, I understand. I know it's disappointing. No, it's okay. I just wanted Sean out of the picture as soon as possible. I wanted us to move forward. You need to be prepared for both options, Mark. I don't want anyone hurt any more than they already are. I am prepared, and I know I'm the father. But, but, let's talk about something else. Okay, I got you something. You did? A crib for the baby. A crib? Mark, those are so expensive. I know. I saved up some money, and I have a job lined up after graduation. I wanted to do this. I thank you so much. I haven't even thought about getting things yet. Well, this will start you off. I don't even know where I'd put it. Once we graduate, we'll get a place. Mark, which we can talk about later. He's so adorable. Mark, I love how much you want this baby. And I can imagine our future together. But we can't get carried away yet. I know, I know. This trip is supposed to be fun and relaxing. We don't have to make any major decisions yet. Um, okay. So just for fun, what do you think about the name Hermione? <laughs> like that Harry Potter? Yeah, what do you think? Mmm, I like it. I kind of love it. I don't know if I'd actually do it, though. How about Theodore for a boy? Theodore, you always told me you wanted a junior. I know, but my father would probably want it named after him. Which name do you like better? Mmm, Mark Jr. I think Mark Jr. is just as special, and that, and that's what you've always wanted. I guess first we have to find out if it's a boy or girl. Yeah, that would help. Listen, I hate to put a damper on the day, but I want to talk about why you left. I want to talk about the truth. Later. Let's have fun first. I want to know. Just say okay. Okay. If I waited this so long, I can wait a little longer. But you're telling me before the weekend ends. Sure. Later in the hotel. I'm going to have a quick shower. Come with me. Mark is trying to flirt with me. I'd flirt back. Because I like Mark. I need to check my phone. But I'll be waiting for you when you get out. I like the sound of that. You'll like the look of it too. I better hurry then. Hey, Mom. Pandora, how was your little getaway? It's good. Lots of laughs so far. Mark really wants to make sure I have a good time. He has always been so sweet when it came to you. Most of the time. Well, I'm glad to hear you're having fun. You deserve a few laughs. And d and not to be to bring down the mood. But I was able to move your appointment. You'll be seeing the doc first thing on Monday. Thanks, Mom. Of course. Uh, I'm just so happy to see you and Mark together again. We're not together, Mom. And I'm not with Sean either. I care about both of them. I'm just trying to figure it out. I know. Do you have any gut feelings about who the father may be? I think it's Mark. But maybe it's just because he's so convinced convinced it's his. I see. Well, seven and a half months until we find out. Don't remind me. Anyway, I gotta run. Mark is gonna tell me the truth about why he left. Wish me luck. He's what? Pandora, wait. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll give you all the details. Bye, Mom. I gotta go.
It's nice to see you smiling. It's nice to see you this relaxed too. That's because I have my girl right here. I'm having a great time. I want to have a great time too, Pandora. Well, are you ready to get this going? I was actually hoping to seduce you first. You know, set the mood. No. You've had it. I've had it. Tell me what happened and tell me now. Fine. We had to move because of my dad's affair. What? I'm so sorry. That doesn't make any sense. Why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you visit me? Because I couldn't. Because of... Uh-oh. Because of who? How could you? You've been hurt and lied to by these closest to by those closest to you. How do you turn who do you turn to for comfort? But we will figure that out in the next episode, chapter twenty two. We are slowly getting there. <laughs> but I will see you all in the next video. If you do hit that subscribe button if you're liking this, hit that bell icon because I upload twice a day. Hit that like button, hit that share button. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.